Electricity is a type of energy that consists of the movement of electrons between two points when there is a potential difference between them, making it possible to generate what is known as an electric current. Electricity powers our modern world, providing energy for our homes, businesses, and industries. But have you ever wondered what keeps our electrical systems safe and prevents them from overloading or causing fires? In this video, we will talk about an important component of an electrical system that we know as the breaker. Imagine you're at home and suddenly the lights go out. What just happened? Well, chances are, a breaker tripped. But what exactly is a breaker? A breaker, also known as a circuit breaker, is a device designed to protect electrical circuits from overloads and short circuits. It acts as a safety switch that automatically interrupts the flow of electricity when a fault occurs. This interruption prevents damage to the electrical system and reduces the risk of fire or electrical shock. Let's take a closer look at how a breaker works. Inside a breaker, there are several key components. The main component is the electromagnet, which detects excessive current flow. When the current exceeds a certain threshold, the electromagnet becomes magnetized and triggers the breaker to trip. Here are five basic components used in every circuit breaker. One, tripping or protective mechanism. Also known as the trip unit, this triggers the operating mechanism once an electrical fault happens. Two, operating mechanism, opens or shuts the breaker to fulfill its protective role. Three, molded frame, outer protective and supportive case of most breakers. It shelters the other component of the breaker providing insulation. Four, arc chutes, located near the contacts, Shoots prevent damage and mostly heat from intervening with the circuit breaker's functionality and move apart when a fault occurs. 5. Contacts There are three types of contacts. Arcing, auxiliary, or main contacts that are used to ensure optimal airflow inside the breaker. When the breaker trips, it physically moves a switch, called the trip mechanism, which disconnects the circuit from the power source. This action effectively breaks the circuit and stops the flow of electricity. Breakers come in different types and sizes, depending on their application. Residential buildings typically use miniature circuit breakers, MCBs, or residual current circuit breakers, RCCBs. MCBs stands for miniature circuit breakers. They are electrical devices designed to protect electrical circuits from overcurrents and short circuits. MCBs are commonly used in residential, commercial, and industrial electrical installations as a safety measure. When an electrical circuit experiences an overload or a short circuit, the current flowing through the circuit exceeds its rated capacity, which can lead to overheating and potential hazards such as fire or equipment damage. MCBs are installed in the circuit to detect these abnormal currents and interrupt the flow of electricity to prevent such incidents. MCBs are compact and designed to fit into standardized electrical distribution boards. They consist of a switch mechanism that opens the circuit when an overcurrent or short circuit is detected. The switch is connected to a bimetallic strip or an electromagnetic coil that senses the current passing through the circuit. If the current exceeds the predetermined threshold, the switch is tripped, breaking the electrical connection and disconnecting the faulty circuit. One of the advantages of MCBs is that they can be easily reset after tripping, unlike traditional fuses that need to be replaced. This makes MCBs a more convenient and cost-effective solution for circuit protection. MCBs are available in different current ratings and trip characteristics to suit various applications and electrical loads. Otherwise, RCCBs monitor the electrical current imbalance and provide additional protection against electrical shocks. RCCB stands for Residual Current Circuit Breaker. It is an electrical device used for protection against electrical shock and electrical fires caused by earth faults or leakage currents. RCCBs are also commonly referred to as RCDs, residual current devices, or GFCIs, ground fault circuit interrupters, in some regions. The primary function of an RCCB is to detect and interrupt the flow of current when there is a leakage or imbalance between the live and neutral conductors. It provides protection by monitoring the difference in current between the outgoing and incoming conductors of an electrical circuit. If the RCCB detects a significant imbalance, it quickly disconnects the circuit, preventing electric shock or fire hazards. RCCBs work based on the principle of residual current, which refers to the difference in current between the live and neutral conductors. 
Normally, the current flowing through the live and neutral conductors should be equal. However, in the case of a fault, such as a person coming into contact with an exposed live wire or a damaged appliance causing leakage, a portion of the current may flow through an unintended path, such as the ground or the person's body. This creates an imbalance in the current, which is detected by the RCCB. When the RCCB detects a significant residual current, typically above a predetermined threshold, such as 30 mA, it quickly trips or disconnects the circuit, cutting off the power supply. This rapid disconnection helps prevent electric shock and reduces the risk of fire caused by electrical faults. RCCBs are commonly used in residential, commercial, and industrial electrical installations, especially in areas where the risk of electrical shock or fire is high, such as bathrooms, kitchens, outdoor areas, and construction sites. They provide an additional layer of safety by complementing other protective devices like MCBs, miniature circuit breakers, and fuses. In larger installations, such as commercial or industrial settings, you'll find more complex breakers like molded case circuit breakers, MCCBs, and air circuit breakers, ACBs. These breakers can handle higher currents and provide enhanced protection for larger electrical systems. Now that we understand what breakers are and how they work, let's talk about their importance in electrical safety. Electrical faults can have serious consequences, including fires, damage to equipment, and even loss of life. Breakers act as the first line of defense against these hazards. By monitoring and interrupting the flow of electricity, breakers prevent excessive current from damaging wires, appliances, or causing electrical fires. In your home, breakers are installed in the electrical panel or distribution board. Each breaker is connected to a specific circuit, such as the one for your kitchen, living room, or bedroom. If an overload occurs, for example, if you plug too many devices into a single outlet, the breaker will trip and cut off power to that particular circuit, preventing any potential hazards. When a breaker trips, it's important to identify the cause and address the issue before resetting it. Overloading, short circuits, or faulty appliances can all trigger a breaker trip. Proper troubleshooting and maintenance of your electrical system are crucial for ensuring safety and preventing future incidents. To wrap up, breakers are essential components of electrical systems. They protect us from electrical hazards by detecting and interrupting excessive currents. By understanding how breakers work, you can ensure the safety of your electrical installations and respond effectively to any faults that may occur. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more informative content. And as always, stay safe and take care. See you next time.